New Jersey investors, I'm talking to you about moving your money into real estate markets that are cheaper than what you're used to at home. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. My name is James Wise. I am helping investors like you invest in real estate, right? My client today is a guy by the name of Our Money. Uh, me and Our Money, we've been working together for quite some time. We're, we're probably in like the 25 to 30 video range of properties I've looked at for you. Uh, we've done several deals, closed a few. We got a few in escrow. And you shot me this uh, other property uh, that I'm pretty familiar with. Now... The situation on this one, our money. First of all, it's like perfect uh, to to you and your portfolio and the type of properties you're looking in, right? So I think you're gonna definitely want to make a move on this one. I'm familiar with it because several hundred episodes I actually analyzed this, right? This is episode six sixty seven. I analyzed this way back uh, in episode two forty one for another investor. Now here is the the situation. Uh, well, first, I'll tell you what. Let me have you take a look at that footage. 2809 Archwood, Cleveland, 44109. This is a duplex. Fully occupied. So let's talk about that, dude. Banging rents, brother. 700 a month total coming into both of these units. So 1400 16800 bucks a year comes in. Now, cool thing is market rent is, is a little bit higher. Uh, so know that going forward for the long haul, we could eventually get these up to 750, but we don't want to try to move these tenants out, bro. These guys are paying great. Uh, it's great rent. You don't make a bunch of money in this business by getting an extra hundred bucks a month out of your unit, right? You make money in this business uh, by not having your tenants move out, by eliminating turnovers, right? So let's stick to the analysis based upon the current rents. 14 is going to come in, an average of 689 is going to go out, right? All your variable and your fixed expenses are laid out for you. That should leave you with an average NOI of 711 a month or $8,532 a year, right? And as far as what the unit uh, looks like, as you can see, uh, we got all the photos uh, from before the current owners put these tenants in and, you know, they did a, you know, fairly decent job uh, renovating it. Like nothing super special, right? Uh, but it's a nice hardened unit, right? We got neutral coloring. We got the hardwood floors. You see, we got the nice updated fixtures in the, in the bathrooms. Uh, well, one of the bathrooms is a little more updated than the other one. That, that other bathroom may need a little bit of love on the next turnover, but no biggie. You know, the kitchens, they're adequate, right? Uh, for what this property is, uh, in this particular neighborhood. This is a, a D-class neighborhood. Um, this is like a great standard that we'll be providing the tenants. It, it looks very nice. And speaking to this neighborhood being a D-class neighborhood, bro, this is honestly the neighborhood that I'm looking at for the long haul the most in the Cleveland market, right? We have a little bit of uh, additional risk right now, right? Because, you know, a lot of lower income folks, okay? But we alleviate that risk by going with the Section 8 program in the long run, right? The biggest issue, <clears throat> the biggest risk factor with any rental property is your tenant's not paying rent. You're having to evict people, right? We alleviate that by going with the Section 8 program, guaranteed rental income. Now, these two particular tenants, they are not Section 8 tenants, but they are current with their rent, right? <laughs> Hey lenders, are you looking for more clients? If so, send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. So we're just gonna have to roll the dice. I mean, that's part of the game, but know that we have a plan going forward as well. No reason to think these are bad tenants. I'm just letting you guys know. I would never ever present you a property and tell you that, uh, you know, without a doubt, your tenants are always going to pay rent. That's just not how this business works, right? That's why if you go back to this chart, I've factored that in, right? As far as vacancy and non-payment of rent, we're saving $70 every month. This is money that's going to you, $840 a year. I want you to put into a special savings account knowing that one day, one day, D-Rock, as much as I love you, brother, you're going to have to evict some of these tenants. One day, someone from the whole life staff is going to be like, Hey, dog, 
bad news, motherfucker. We got to throw these assholes out, right? It's going to happen. Sorry, brother. Part of the game, but you're, you're saving for that, right? So when I give you the NOI of $8,532, right? That's not calculating that other money. I've backed that out because I want you to save that going forward. And we did the same with your repairs and your maintenance, right? Because when you do turn people over, you got to spend a little money cleaning the unit up, right? And then as far as your capital expenditures, uh, that's for your big ticket items, your furnaces, your roof, your hot water tanks, right? Like if you look uh, at the pictures here, right? This furnace that I'm looking at, right? You know, that's, that's you know, maybe like five to 10 years old, right? These things, they last about 30 years. They cost about three Gs. So know that eventually you'll have to replace those, right? The uh, roof, right? Big old duplex. It's probably a $7,000 roof. I think we're like mid, mid-life or so on the age of the roof. So you're saving money knowing that eventually you're going to drop about seven Gs on that, right? So I, I, I factored all the bad stuff in, dog, and it, it makes a lot of sense, right? So as far as the price go, they listed it at $79.9, and we got to hop on it at $79.9. That's a great freaking deal, man. $1,400 in rent for $79.9. That's awesome, right? We're going to go ahead and have you utilize a loan so you don't got to spend all your 30 Gs, right? Let's go ahead and get you a loan for 75% of this property, right? So you're only going to put up $19,975. We'll have a lender give you a 30-year fixed interest, low interest loan for the other $60,000. After that, you'll have a $252 mortgage to add into your expenses. After that, that's going to leave you clearing $5,508 on only a $20,000 investment, brother, which is a 27.6% return on your money, right? And then that's going to have an additional $5,500 on average coming in. So you can stack that on top of the other savings you've already got. And then you have. 10 G's to work with. You're consistently stacking more money on top of that. We're going to stack some more money on top of that. And when you've got enough for the down payment on the next property and the next property and the next property, we'll get in there and we'll try to string some solid earners for you. Just like this one, bro, get you to that financial freedom. Welcome back, our money. All right. So uh, now that you've seen all the footage, that was my thoughts on the property back then. That was episode 241. Now, that was a very long time ago, right? Like 400 and, I don't know, 430 something episodes ago. What you have to understand about where I'm at today as I speak to you on episode 667 versus where I was back then on episode 241 is the prices in Cleveland have gone up because the inventory has gone down, dude. Back then I thought, yeah, my guy could probably get the property for 79.9. Did not happen. Ended up going under contract with somebody else and it like was off the market for the longest time. Finally came back on the market now, and now, you know, you're looking at it, and you're interested in it, so you shout it over to me. But I do not think uh, that you'll be able to take it down at 79.9 today. It's just the, the, the markets are always moving, guys. Like, the, the market is like a living, breathing thing. Just because a property is worth X value on day Y does not mean it's worth X value on day Z, right? The things are always changing, right? And that's part of what I do, right? That's You guys have, uh, you know, your goals and your ambitions and what you want to do, but you have to match that with what is competitive in the market. And the number one thing in the market is going to be supply and demand. So in today's Cleveland market, multifamily inventory is at an all-time low. Demand is at an all-time high. I think if you're interested in this property, our money, I think $90,000 is going to need to be where you're at to have a shot at getting your bid accepted. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.